Here's our time. How are you going? Yeah, doing well. How's your morning? Um, well, it's only just sort of started, so it's kind of right. Although Freddie did wake me up about 4 a.m. or something, so it was very nice. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, That's all right. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine that that doesn't change for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, he actually sleeps through the night now. He just woke up for a bit last night. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Miriam. Nope, all good, Miriam. Cool. So you're all set, mate? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Do we know, um, how do we know how, like, how many attendees are on this session? Yeah, uh, up in the, uh, so it, it maybe, yep, yep, right up the top there. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, should we, should I just, should we just go on mute and, and off video until everyone joins? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sounds good. All right. Um, I guess we can just we can just dive into the the preamble here a little bit. Uh, I do want to give another minute or two just for any stragglers who may be joining us. Um, we see we have twenty two people here, which is really really exciting. Um, would love it 
if um, anybody who's here currently um, would be able to just pop in, you know, what sort of company they're from, um, so we could get a sense of where to steer the conversation. If we have more tech focus, if we have more property owners or manage their brokers, we can kind of steer the conversation um, based on, on, on our attendees here today. So if anybody would like to do that, that'd be great. And um, yeah, so we can, uh, we can jump in here. So good afternoon to everyone. And thank you for joining us on this session today, the big shift in the commercial real estate space for property owners. My name is Matthew Leone a sales and B2B marketing manager here at Released, and I will be moderating today's session with our very own CEO and founder, Tom Wallace. Uh, obviously, being the CEO of an international prop tech company comes with a lot of business experience and acumen, but as a former property manager himself, Tom has a really, really deep understanding of the commercial real estate market, um, so really excited to get some of his expertise today. Uh, before we do dive in, I want to make sure everyone is very well aware that we, we want to make this session as interactive as possible. So we're gonna be rolling through a few case studies um, from, from property owners, and, and we're gonna have a bunch of questions for Tom, but we want to deliver the most value to you. So please, if anyone has any questions, feel free to shoot them over via the chat. Um, if there's something you'd like to, to discuss with us directly, we could potentially even bring you up onto the screen to chat directly with Tom. Good, so, um, so before, we, before we jump in, uh, I just want to set the expectation for what we'll be discussing today. Um, and I think the, the best place to start is by introducing release. Uh, I by no means want to turn this session into a history lesson um, or any sort of sales pitch, but being very aware that some people here might not have uh, a great understanding of who release is and what we do. I thought it'd be really good to cover that briefly um, and who better to do that than our very own CEO. Uh, so Tom, do you want to say a little bit about the, the history and the vision behind release? Yeah, so well, then saying that I have heard some of our team give a give a better version, but I'll do my very best. But you know, we have an interesting um, story to share. We're actually a company that's from uh, New Zealand originally, which is a very long way away um, from where Mateo is at the moment. Um, but basically, the release came about by solving my own problem or the problem that my family business was having. So I started working uh, in my father's business. He's a commercial property owner after university. Um, and coming out of university in fresh face, I was pretty sort of surprised about the technology that they were using. To be honest, I didn't actually know that sort of business software still existed. So they were using very typical software that you still see today, which is desktop software, sort of looks like Windows 95 and very, very hard to use and very complex. And so I set out to try and find something better for them. Um, and I didn't find anything um, that I thought was any good. Um, at the same time, I was really intrigued by the trends in cloud computing and what that could enable. And so sort of started this whole research project and eventually we decided that, you know, we were the best people that we thought um, going around that could solve this problem for ourselves. And we knew we'd, if we did it well, we'd have an opportunity to take wider um, to the world. And that's happened. So um, rolling forward, we started building the software and, and launched in 2013. Um, being a company founded in New Zealand, uh, you immediately have to sell globally. So we were selling to international customers from day one. So we have customers now with property in over 50 countries. Um, and we have six offices, so our offices are spread between Australia, New Zealand, um, the United Kingdom, uh, and in New York as well. So it's really exciting for us, the team's about 100, um, and we're growing really quickly. And so for us, we're all about creating software that makes the lives of commercial property owners and commercial property managers easier by leveraging um, the cloud, and mobile, and data technology. Great, thanks Tom. Um, and then just, just moving forward uh, with a few things that we're just going to discuss today, just so everybody is, is clear on where we're going. Um, first, we're going to move on with the discussion le about leveraging technology to adapt to the changing landscape. So obviously, uh, the impacts of COVID-19 have been felt all over the globe in all sorts of industries. Um, but we do have one uh, story that I think I'd like to share from one group who recently went through um, adopting a new tech stack and, and what that did to change their business. Uh, then we're going to talk about the tenant experience because that's become something that's um, not that it was ever unimportant, but seems to be at the uh, front and center of conversations nowadays. And then lastly, we're going to look ahead a little bit um, in regards to data analytics um, and how that is, is really changing the landscape in the space um, and becoming a, a competitive advantage for, for property owners. Um, so we'll kick this off by 
talking a little bit about building success through COVID-19. So, uh, so like I said, it, widespread, obviously, nobody's not feeling the effects of it. Um, but this is an interesting example, an interesting case um, regarding one of our clients, Woodgreen out of Woodgreen Management, which is a real estate investment and management group out of Connecticut. Um, and I think that they went about the process of adopting technology and building a tech stack really the right way. Um, so I'm just going to briefly touch on, the, on, on three things here that one, the challenge that they were facing, the needs that they had, and then the result from all of that. So they, even prior to COVID-19, they had, they, they knew that they needed to update their tech stack. They were, they were working on systems that were very disparate, um, didn't really have any sort of mobility tied into any workplace mobility. So they had that process that was very disconnected and they knew they needed to, to, to move forward with that. Now, despite knowing what they needed and uh, they didn't want to just rush into it and grab any piece of technology, they had very clearly defined their needs um, in terms of workplace mobility, um, having a software that worked well with other software systems that they had and having advanced uh, visibility throughout their portfolio. Uh, clearly, their needs accelerated um, when COVID-19 hit and, and because they had several businesses that were essential businesses, there was no option to not <laughs> um, manage them throughout that crisis. Um, so fortunately, they were be able to build a, a property management solution um, that worked with their accounting solution, which was uh, sort of released being the property management solution. Um, and then putting that strong tech stack in place really creates an environment that allows for full visibility over the portfolio, um, ease of communication, um, and it really put them in a position to prepare themselves for whatever the market was throwing at them. Um, and just one quote from uh, Jason Bernheimer from over there. It, he said, it shows our tenants that we are taking the steps to enhance ourselves and be more proactive in becoming a stronger property management company, which I thought was really powerful. So all that said, uh, regarding their, their experience, it's not it's by no means a unique experience, I think we're seeing across the space. Um, and that's a bit of an operational perspective uh, in terms of the benefits of cloud software. But Tom, I, I'm gonna pass it over to you here um, to talk a little bit about what, what that level of visibility and mobility um, does for property managers, for property owners, and, and then as an added value to their, their tenants as well. Yeah, and just before I do that as well, I'll touch on what, what I think Woodgreen did well in their discovery process there was they didn't come and look for, decide we need new technology and go out and look to do replace what they've been doing in the past but just do it in in the cloud so then say here's what we've been doing let's just try and replicate this somewhere else they really said what are the problems we have and what's important to us and let's go find a solution that matches that and i think they're really happy with the result that's come from that obviously we've been talking for you know eight years now about the importance of cloud and what mobility can give you we've had various examples in our history where there's been um, floods in Australia or earthquakes in, in New Zealand where we've had customers of ours who have no longer been able to access their office for a, for a long, prolonged period of time. Obviously, we had no idea that COVID was going to hit as well. Um, and that's really highlighted the importance there um, of being able to access your data. I think everyone now very clearly understands that we never know at what point we won't be able to stay at the office or be at the office, and we don't know how long that would happen for. And so while it used to be an advantage of being in the in the cloud and getting this access to this modern technology. Now it is essential if you want to run a secure business um, that looks up to the future. It's, it's really incredibly important. If, if you don't have that ability to access your information from wherever you are, um, you know, you obviously leave yourself open and liable for some issues that come about from being locked away from that data. Um, and then also you, you touched on uh, tenant relations as well, which is really important because how can you keep those tenant relationships between a landlord or a property manager if you can't see them, if you can't visit them all the time? And so using technology there is a really useful way. And so that's where we went and we uh, we actually offered out our, our, our tenant mobile app for free for um, to our customers so they could actually engage with their tenants, keep them in the loop, share that information with them while they can't meet them in person. So that's provided a lot of benefits here to keep those relationships strong. Um, of course, there's a lot of tenants who are under stress you know, their businesses in many cases have been impacted heavily. Um, and so being able to keep a really close relationship and understand 
what's happening so you can empathize and come up with a solution that works and ideally maintain those tenants for a very long time is really, really important now, now more so than ever. And so leveraging technology to use that uh, to its full advantage is incredibly helpful. Yeah, yeah, I would totally agree. That, that actually reminds me of a case that we that we had with a customer who had already previously adopted um, a, a cloud-based tech stack, um, Harry Isles, um, mm -hmm. actually out of the UK. And because he had really set up already, uh, there were a couple of things that he was able to do really, really quickly. And I think that was kind of the key to it was because he already had the systems in place. It was very, very, he was able to react very, very quickly and pivot his business a little bit. So he was able to um, look into the system, identify different tenants in his portfolio who could potentially be struggling with cash flow issues. Um, and then he was able to communicate very effectively and quickly with them, um, able to speak to, I think it's a 15 client um, tenants per day in the commercial space and get a sense um, of their situation. And, and because he was able to, to, to identify and communicate that quickly, he was able to, to put together a plan, um, which I believe was working out monthly payments, um, which, which helped him because he wasn't missing any of, any of the rent collection. Um, and it helped them because they obviously were kind of struggling. Their businesses were struggling with cash flow. So yeah. worked out both ways. And he was only really able to do that because he was leveraging technology and he had it, uh, you know, a means to get that sort of communication out. Yeah, he had that, that open communication and that transparency, which is what we've been advising um, all of our customers. You know, we have we have nearly over a thousand um, landlords who we've been working with who, um, you know, have, have all been hit by this and they've been coming to us and saying, hey, how should we approach this? And we've seen that the best way um, to manage a situation is to have open and clear, transparent communication with your tenants and the technology enables that. Um, yeah, just a few other things that, that I'll touch on on these points here as well, um, Mateo there. So we talked about access to information on any location and any device. Um, and this really touches onto our, our mobile strategy. So we talk about the journey of released in three ways or three phases. The first was moving everything that you would have done previously in spreadsheets or on desktop software and moving that into the cloud. And so obviously that was a major job. There's a huge, huge amount of technology to be built to do that for commercial property. And we're really proud of what we've done and the team have built there. Uh, and then the second wave was, was mobile. So making sure we had great mobile experiences. So a mobile experience for tenants, landlords and property managers. So we have three mobile apps that allow you to do that. And that really opened up a whole new avenue there where suddenly you weren't restricted to having to go and pull your laptop out. If you were on site with a tenant, if you were meeting them, you could pull up their information, you could understand all of their events. Um, and all the lease information, you could even remember their name if you need to, if you'd forgotten their name, so you could pull that up um, on site. So that was fantastic. Um, and also tenants can really interact with you, so they can log their maintenance and they can track their maintenance and they can reply and comment and things in there, which previously wasn't possible. So that really made things a lot more efficient. So that's been a major change. And then the third wave for us is, uh, is the data, which we'll touch on, I know, a little bit at the end of this um, session, which we're, of course, really excited about. Um, the following point there we've got is, is data not stuck in silos. Really important thing for us and, and a real fundamental of release is that we believe in the free flowing transfer of data that you're not stuck in one system. We think of release as building out the commercial ecosystem. So we like to partner with other best in class technologies, whether that's your accounting software, whether that's QuickBooks Online, whether that's Xero, and these modern APIs, which are effectively plugs, which plug those softwares in. So your information can flow freely between your critical business softwares. Again, we think that's something that creates huge amounts of transparency and efficiency in your business. And we've seen awesome results as part of that. Um, and then I'll actually skip forward to usability and automation because it's a, it's a, it's a key fundamental of everything we've built and released. The key to, to having great software, we think, is, is making it incredibly usable. So you don't have to come on and take a three month course before you actually know what's happening and you can be effective in your job. Um, we, we really focus hard on usability so users can come in, navigate their way around and really understand what's happening, even when they're doing quite complex um, tasks like CAM reconciliations, for example, which of course are you know, a pretty big jobs in the business. Um, that's really, really important to us. And the other piece is, is automation. So major factor for us, and our goal is really to automate every manual process that we can over time. And by doing that, we believe that we're going to give more time 
back to our users to spend on value add rather than manual data entry. So they might be going and doing new business developments or searching for new opportunities, communicating with your tenants, but we want to free them up from having to sit for hours and hours every day in front of a computer manually keying in data or doing manual workflows because we know technology is better to do that and humans are better at doing things that add more value and specialize. Great. Yeah, I would totally, I totally agree with all of that. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to move on now. I, th I think to the data section because I think this is really, really important to um, the future of the commercial real estate market and really how to unlock the capabilities of, of what you what you already working with essentially. Because we talk about cloud software and how, from an operational perspective, it's very beneficial for your business. I don't think anybody really has any qualms with that, but. Um, coming and coming from a high, like a high tech company before this, you see it a lot where the power behind cloud is not necessarily, you can take it with you. I mean, that's a great perk, but you have all of this data within your system that you can do some really, really amazing things with. So, uh, with that, I I'll, I'll move on and let you discuss a little bit about how, how having access to that data and those sort of insights, what that does for a business. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess I'll give a little bit of background uh, on the duty to get here. So for us, we've, we've always believed that once we build out release to a certain level of scale, we would have a lot of really valuable data that we could unlock for our customers to add more value and really understand their business performance. So this is something we've been working on for over a year in release. Um, and while we were building out this new data product for our customers, COVID-19 hit, right? So we actually realized we were in a unique position where we were getting a lot of customers coming to us and asking what's happening. We're getting, we're getting massive requests for rent relief and we don't know how to approach it. And so we were actually able to pivot and produce an effect. I think we've got some examples on the next slide, um, Matt. We were able to pivot and, and produce some reports, market data reports, which showed exactly how the market was responding. And so we were able to show and share with not just our customers, but with the wider market, um, really detailed insights of the impact and we can see massive um, drops off in rent. We were seeing many many of our landlords were effectively collecting half the rent they had collected in March as they had collected in previous months. Very immediate impact, very fast, little warning. But to be able to share that information with our customer base in the wider market was hugely valuable because when they were going and negotiating with tenants, everyone had an understanding of where the general market sits. Whereas before, everyone was sitting in isolation facing a massive tidal wave of requests with no real understanding if this was unique to them or if this was really similar in everything else that was happening in the market. So we're really proud of how we're able to respond quickly and support the industry as a result. And we're continuing to release those reports as well. So if you go onto our website, you'll be able to find those reports and download them. They're really interesting. We'll continue to release them, which you get going forward as well, which will show the eventual recovery from COVID as well. So we expect to see some changes in the number of leases that are signed or the length that leases are signed. We're already seeing leases being signed at a much shorter length before, but we like to share that information out, um, out to the market so we, to help our customers. And then now we get to uh, the new product that we are building though. So we've got a new product that's called Credia, which we've released to the market. And really the foundation of Credia is that our customers for years haven't had access to their own information where they can see very clearly how their business is performing and really understand that. Um, and for us as a tech company, we have great data and we can understand very closely how our customers are doing and, and how our business is running. And so for us, when we were talking to our customers and they didn't have those same tools that we had and we enjoyed, we knew there was something, a problem that we could solve for them. And so we put a huge amount of effort and energy into building these products where our customers have these fantastic dashboards um, which really highlight all of the key areas, the important areas of their business, and they can track how they're going. But not only can they do that, they can track how they are performing compared to the market and compared to their previous performance one year ago or one month ago as well. So they get that context there. Context there. And we think this is really transformational. We, you know, To be able to understand exactly what is happening in your business and act on that very quickly, and, and also understand how you're performing compared to, to your peers in the industry is really something that's unique. And um, we're, re we're really driving that shift away in the market from commercial property, which has really relied 
for decades or centuries on gut feel and instincts and small networks to really creating a data-driven um, a data-driven business, um, which we see Credia and Release being the center of. So, yeah, that's something to watch out for. We're, we're really excited about the future coming there. Yeah, I, and I think too, the, the, the key with that is it helps you identify potential risks and it also helps you identify potential opportunities, which just makes, actually makes everybody's life yeah, easier. Yeah, like, um, as well as like, for example, we, we've got customers who have, who have been using it for us and they will be able to show them their CAM expenses and they might realize, well, we're spending on security services for this business. We're spending 15% more than everyone else in the market is spending on that cost item. And they might that might prompt them to realize, hey, well, actually, we haven't actually gone and got a quote for those services in over five years. And they can immediately see an area where they can go and get some quotes and most likely um, reduce the cost there. And of course, that's going to re reduce the cost to themselves and reduce the cost of occupancy for their tenants and allow them to ultimately run a better and more profitable business, um, which is great. And that, it's just something that traditional tools um, have made effectively impossible, or at least very hard to understand that data quickly uh, in real time and in a usable format. That's, yeah, that's a great point. And especially in regards to benchmarking reports um, regarding the whole of the industry, I, I think the timeliness of that, because I, because I do believe, and you uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that there are other benchmarking reports, but they're not necessarily real-time reports or immediately after those, they tend to come months after the fact, which is typically far too late to be able to make quick and effective business decisions. Yeah, no, you're correct. The, the, the majority of uh, sort of market performance reports rely on surveys. So, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll provide some information, mm -hmm. they will compile a report and then they'll send that report back to you maybe once a quarter or something along those lines. But of course, everything moves very, very quickly in this world these days. And so what's important for us is that the the data is driven directly from the software. It's live and it's in real time. So you can understand exactly how your business is performing and you can understand how it's performing today compared to yesterday. I mean, that's how fast things can move these days. Um, and, and we believe that with all this change that's happening, um, you know, it can be it can be scary, right? For, for someone who's been in the business for a long time, that mo the modern, the pace of technology can be, can be scary. Uh, but we really think it creates opportunity as well. It creates a unique opportunity for those who want to put a, a data and a technology strategy at the center of their business to do incredibly well, um, because we know we deeply understand the benefits of doing it that way, rather than the, the traditional way that I mentioned earlier, which is, you know, sort of gut instincts um, and general feel for, for the industry. Sure. So I'd like to kind of stay with that point. Um, because it is, I think, a little overwhelming sometimes to build out a tech yep. stack. And that's something from like a marketing perspective I've had to do in past life too. Like it's tough, there's a lot of softwares out mm -hmm. there. Um, so from your from your point of view, what are some things, I guess, potentially that people can look out for when they're trying to identify new new, new software? So what maybe one some questions that they should ask themselves to, to kind of help them along the, the way? Sure, I think um, just go to release.com and nah. um, I think. <laughs> find it on there. No, um, I think we really what, what you what you raised before from Wood Green was a really good point. So you don't want to list out what what am I doing today and how am I going to replicate that exactly what I'm doing uh, in, in in the cloud effectively. What you really need to look at is saying what is important to our business, what are the problems we have here, and then go and find ways to solve those problems out there. And and because there's totally new ways of doing things. For example. We, uh, we're we the only ones that allow you to use Xero or QuickBooks or other cloud-based accounting products and integrate that directly into your commercial property management software. That's not something that has been available before. So if you were looking for it, um, if you were looking and you didn't understand that was there, you might miss that, but it creates this incredible experience where you can use best-in-class accounting software directly integrated into your commercial property management software and it creates a fully new experience. So it's really about understanding what are your problems? What is important? And then going and looking to solve those rather than coming with a, with a, with a preconceived idea of I've done it this way for the last 20 years and I want to continue to do it, to do it that way, but I just want it to be in the cloud now. That, that would be this, in my mind, that would be the wrong way to approach it. It's great. It's great advice. Um, I, I guess another question that I would have is, so there's 
you know, just in regards to property management solutions, there's a lot out there, and a lot of them are focused on residential. And this is probably more of a um, when you started the journey in building out real estate. Um, why, I guess, why why commercial? And um, I guess, yeah, what, what what made it so important to build out software that had commercial real estate front of mind? Yeah, I mean, to be quite honest, I, we were sol I was solving our own problem. Commercial was what I knew and, and was involved in. Um, and, and I just was incredibly focused on, on solving that. Um, one of the big challenges for technology companies is that there's an incredible temptation to build everything because you kind of can build everything. You can say, we could build that, we could build that. But what's really important and what you'll notice that the really great software companies do is they focus, really focus in, in, in their area of expertise and try very hard to solve that problem and not be distracted by everything else. So commercial has always been at the core of us, uh, of our business. Of course, as we've grown and, and become, you know, we have hundreds of thousands of properties on the platform now, we are now able to manage very well every every type of property, whether that's residential, HOA, whatever it might be, multifamily. But commercial is where we focus first, and that's where we specialize. And then and, and, and we add on from there because lots of our landlords or property managers will manage a whole range of mixed property particularly in countries like um, England, the United Kingdom, where they have a lot of mixed use properties. It's very common there. But yeah, going back to your question, it was it was really solving our own problem. And, and also we knew there was a unique opportunity. The market is um, awash with residential software. There's a, there's a lot of that out there um, that try and solve it in different ways. But we thought commercial was particularly underserved and we thought we could do a, a good job there to serve that market. Great, makes, makes total sense. Just to remind everybody, so we, we do have a few minutes left here. Uh, I do have a couple more questions uh, of my own for Tom that I, that I hope everyone will enjoy. But if anyone has any sort of questions, please feel free to pass them along. So it's not me just asking Tom questions. So we'd love to get some some feedback from everybody else. Um, it, in the meantime, hopefully while, while people are coming up with questions, Tom, um, I guess, do you have any examples of uh, any customers, I suppose, with with maybe some tangible benefits or ROI that they've seen from leveraging cloud technology potentially lately through through COVID. Yeah, I mean, I mean, certainly, absolutely. We've got we've got a lot of customers who through COVID have um, come back and thanked us for getting them live so they could continue to run their business um, without missing a beat, really. You know, because they were able to just take their laptops home and, and continue working from home. We do a return on investments um, process for all of our new customers to show them exactly what will happen to make that shift. Um, but there's also the, what release does really well um, is that we bring all of the information from running a commercial business. It's, it's, it can be complex, right? So if you've got 100 or 1,000 tenants, there's a lot of different key events that happen, whether that is health and safety related, whether that is lease related, whether it's rent reviews, leases expiring, there's a lot to stay across. And so for us, we put that all into one central location and make it very clear. So some of the, the major return on investments that we find, other than the general automation and efficiencies, is that they're not missing these incredibly important tasks that they were missing before. It's very common for us when we're, when we're bringing new customers on board and we're implementing them onto the software, that we'll go back and say, hey, did you know that you've missed these last five safety inspections or you've actually missed these last three rent reviews across these tenants and it's costing you $20,000 a year? And because the softwares that they've been coming from or the, or the Excel spreadsheet that they've been coming on um, really don't highlight that for them, they're either leaving a lot of risk out there or a lot of money out there for themselves as well. So yeah, a lot of the return on investment is, is just by allowing them to run their portfolio well and not miss those, those major events. So it's incredibly common how often it happens and we we're always surprised. Yeah, it is, you know, it, it's funny, sometimes, sometimes it's the simplest Things that make the make the best solutions, um, <laughs> and I think that's that's kind of a theme. Even 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 at the at the heart of the uh, the platform with that with the calendar, yeah. it's surprising how many times you people see that calendar like, oh wow, that's a great idea. Yeah. The simplest ideas sometimes solve the biggest. I think problems. It, it was the benefit of us designing released rather than trying to replicate something that had been done before. Um, you know, we we really just started with a blank piece of paper and said. How are we going to solve this problem as best we can? And we realized that commercial property, there's, it's incredibly um, event driven. There's a lot of events happening. And so we decided we need to bring all this into one area, one calendar, which integrates with your work calendar that not only shows it to you, but also commences all the workflow and automates everything as well. So 
you know, if you've got five rent reviews coming up on that day, you can click right on them and, and obviously perform those rent reviews to make it really easy. But, you know, if we had been looking to replicate um, something else in the cloud, it would look very, very different. Um, so, yeah, that, starting with that blank piece of paper for us was, yep, yeah, it's, it's great. And, and like I mentioned earlier, simplicity and usability is, is at the very core of what we do. Yep, totally agree. So uh, thank you, everybody, for the time today. I know we, we are running out of time. Uh, if anyone has any questions for Tom or myself, please feel free to reach out. Um, any questions around property management software, about the future of data analytics, about the Creative program that we're putting together um, to help, help businesses, um, please feel free to reach out to us. We've got a booth uh, in, in the virtual expo here, which uh, I will be in all day. So <laughs> feel free to stop by and ask questions uh, or ping me directly. Brilliant. Thanks, Mateo. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Thanks, everyone.